हेलो हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक इफ यू आर रेगुलर योर आई एम अनिरुद्ध योर विथ यू एज ऑलवेज सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू बी इंट्रोड्यूसिंग यू टू माय अप्रोच टू अर्बन स्केचिंग दिस इज हाउ आई वुड अप्रोच अ पेंटिंग व्हेन आई एम आउट ऑन संडे मॉर्निंग सिटिंग ऑन सम स्ट्रीट कॉर्नर विथ माय स्केच बुक एंड पेंट्स so the approach i'm going to share with you is very familiar to however the materials i am going to use are not they are new so this is a bit of a trial run for these materials before i try them out outdoors i started like i often do by mixing the colors i would need for the first wash so i wet the top part of my page where the sky is and dropped in my blue mix and just let it flow freely in this first wash of paint i usually like to cover my entire paper however this time i can't do that as my uh, subject the building is white in color so i'm applying a warm yellow color wherever uh, parts of the scene are being hit by sunlight also applying some cool color in the areas uh, covered by shadow most of these areas i will be going over again other than the ones where the shadow is falling on the white parts of the building at this stage i am trying really hard to keep all these wet sections connected as much as i can things nearer to us in the foreground are usually stronger in hue and darker so i've just introduced that color there to create a sense of depth even at this early stage the scene i'm painting today is from somewhere in saudi arabia i got the reference image from one of those sketch this in your style challenges over on instagram there is a urban sketcher from egypt who posts these every month uh, more information about her is available down in the description it is after this first layer that i start introducing lines to this line and wash watercolor lines help build definition of the sketch and uh, also create the illusion of detail at this stage it's best to keep your lines thin i am using two pens one is a fude nib pen by sailor which gives me variable lines the other is a 0.3 fine liner I really admire people who can uh, do pen sketches in long continuous lines. I've tried it but uh, I somehow have not been able to find the secret sauce. At the end of the day each of us have our own approach to putting down line work. over time i have come to realize that uh, while it's absolutely okay to admire experienced artists and how they how they put their lines at the end of the day it's best to focus or at least for me to focus on my own approach and 
how i can make the most of uh, the way my hand and i coordinate with each other kindly allow me a few seconds to talk about my offerings on skillshare if you enjoy the way i paint and would like to learn how to do so yourself i offer full length tutorials over on the platform in the description below you will find a link that will give you free access to one of my classes all right now back into the video now on to our mid tones starting with the green to apply this green i decided to use a flat brush my reasoning behind this choice is simply variety i don't think i use enough of the flat brush and think it uh, adds something different especially when painting in uh, architectural details as always i'm going to try and connect my mid tones as one or two large shapes so i'm going to connect that green into the cart sculpture in the foreground and then i'm going to further connect that sculpture to the furniture on the curb side and then into the shadows being cast by both the sculpture and that furniture We are now at what can be described as the ugly stage for this painting. Definitions and details will only come later. I wasn't sure I wanted some of those foreground elements when I was uh, putting down my pencil lines but now I feel I need them so I'm just going to add them directly with my brush I'm adding dark exaggerated shadows to the entryway of that building making that section dark will create a sense of contrast between the background and the horse sculpture which is relatively lighter i always try to have this variety of uh, having something light on a darker background and then having something dark on a lighter background It's always having this variety that lends depth to any painting.
now on to our darks the reference photo appears to have been taken during mid afternoon in photographs both the lights and the darks are exaggerated because a camera can't actually see the amount of depth the human eye can see therefore in most cases it is best to not go as dark as uh, things appear in the photograph however in this particular instance i have uh, chosen to ignore the very advice that i just gave you i'm simply adding in the darks and details as i see them in the photograph some i'm adding which are not there in the photograph but i feel will uh, create a greater sense of interest in my composition bit by bit the sketch is slowly coming to life now these dark hits do not necessarily need to be connected the objective of adding them is to create an illusion of definition and form to create a sense of direction and volume in some cases I've used four brushes for this uh, entire painting. Size number four, size number eight, and size number twelve. Escoda Versatile travel brushes and a local flat brush. Details of all the materials are uh, down in the description below. areas of my painting such as the sides which are not the focal point there i will add fewer number of uh, details and not go as dark the sketchbook i'm using is a strathmore mixed media visual journal It's actually the first time I'm using this sketchbook. Let me know if you'd like me to do a video about my sketching kit as a whole or a review of uh, any particular tool within my kit. And now for the very finest of details. we can move back to our pens having a variety of line thicknesses line weights in your sketch creates a greater sense of interest in your sketch now is the point where uh, we can use the food a nib pen for the thickest of lines A simple rule I follow is uh, any part of uh, any structure in my sketch which I can put my fingers around will have a thicker line. The sketch is almost done. Thank you for joining me in uh, another quick little demonstration. Please don't forget to do all the YouTube things like subscribe click the notification icon I will see you in the next one